The U.S. space exploration company SpaceX successfully launched the first private manned spacecraft, Crew Dragon, on May 30th. With this monumental success, the name Elon Musk is trending again. Elon Musk has become a household name, even in Korea, thanks to the rising interest in his electric vehicle company, Tesla. But manufacturing electric vehicles and launching spacecraft are not the only areas of interest for this South African-born entrepreneur. The businesses he's working on also include Hyperloop, an ultra-fast transportation system using sealed tube and air pressure, and Solar City that provides solar energy service, to name a few. Exploring new business areas that demand technologies that only seem to exist in sci-fi movies, he is often compared to the real-life version of Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. He was in the media spotlight not only for the good news. He sometimes grabbed public attention by his bold behavior and straightforward way of speaking. Some point out that most of his businesses don't make that much profit and think he's a bit overrated. But many see inspiration in Musk's entrepreneurship and determined spirit. These attributes are rare these days. A lot of Americans got together near the launch pad in Houston and cheered while watching the successful launch of the SpaceX rocket. But it was not only the Americans who see a glimmer of hope in Elon Musk's success story, especially in this difficult time of the corona outbreak. Some investors are skeptical and others bullish when it comes to SpaceX. But the people seem to be supportive of his efforts to push the boundaries and make science fiction a reality. Uh, so first, I said some investors are skeptical. That means doubtful or not sure. And others are bullish. If someone is bullish, that means they're very aggressive, especially when you're talking about financials. So if you're a bullish investor, you take a lot of high risks. But the opposite is bearish. So if you're bearish, you're a little bit more conservative with your investments and spending money in the market. And I said, um, people are supportive to push the boundaries. So to push the boundaries means, you know, there's a certain set of rules or regulations. And if you push those, that means you kind of go over what is expected. So, for example, like he pushed the boundaries by making a rocket that comes back to Earth. That's never been done before. And finally, I said he makes science fiction a reality. So many Koreans say SF. SF is Konglish. It means San Francisco. Um, so if you say everyone just says science fiction, so science fiction movies, or when we talk about like a TV show like Star Trek, that is science fiction. There are conflicting views amongst Wall Street and the powers that be. But one thing is for certain, Elon Musk is being celebrated by his moxie and his trailblazing attitude. Uh, so I said they're conflicting views amongst Wall Street and the powers that be. So when we talk about Wall Street, that means the big banks, hedge funds, private equity, all the big money investors, we talk about Wall Street and the stock market. And I said the powers that be. The powers that be is an expression we use um, when we are being unspecific about a group of powerful people who have influence. So for example, if um, your boss comes up to you and says, hey, you got promoted. Well, why is that? Hey, the powers of that be must like you. So it means someone higher up that has influence chose for you to get promoted. And in this case, we talk about the powers that be means like experts or governments or people with power that can affect Elon Musk. And in the second sentence, I said he's being celebrated for his moxie and trailblazing attitude. So moxie is a slang word, and it means kind of the ability to do things, the ability to get things done. If someone has moxie, they could start a business. They could be very successful in their company. Um, they, they're they very entrepreneurial. Um, so that kind of energy or that now we call it as moxie. And finally, he has a trailblazing attitude. Now, a trailblazer is someone who does something first and does it well and usually does it fast. Um, it's kind of like a pioneer, but a little bit different. So the word trailblazer came from the United States. So if you had to cross America, you had to do it within uh, 18 months. So the first six months you would leave from the, this was 200 years ago, you would leave from the East Coast and you would land in the middle, maybe St. Louis. 
and you would wait for the the winter to end and then you had to get across america before the next winter started because if you got caught in the mountains you would die so trailblazers they packed very light but they went across america first and they did it very quickly the controlled descent rockets that spacex is using saves money and makes space exploration a better investment so I call it the controlled descent rockets. So the the uh, the the booster rockets, the fuel rockets that shoot the spacecraft into space, they detach and come back to Earth. So when they come down, they land on a, a ship, but that is called a controlled descent. So if it's uncontrolled, that means it just falls down. But the rockets that kind of reverse thrust that go down, that's called a controlled descent. Soft propulsion technology allows the rockets to land back to Earth safely on autonomous ships. This lessens the cost of spaceflight. So I said soft propulsion technology. That's also another way of saying a controlled descent. So it comes down slowly and then it lands on safely on an autonomous ship. So the ship is autonomous means that there is no one driving it. There are no people on it. It's a computer run ship through AI. Elon Musk's dream is to colonize Mars. Uh, so when I say colonize, it doesn't necessarily mean to take over. It just, uh, I think if you guys have seen the movie Martian with Matt Damon, uh, he says to be an official colony, you have to plant crops. Uh, you can also have a colony of different things like a colony of bacteria, meaning that bacteria grows in one area. So a small colony could just be a small grouping of living things. Musk's future achievement will be to construct a livable habitat on the surface of Mars. So I said he'll construct a livable habitat. So a habitat is, is a place where anyone lives. Your house is a habitat. A cave could be a habitat. But a habitat would be if a place where you could breathe, eat, drink water. So if it's livable, that means you can live in it. Right now, the habitat is unlivable on Mars. The liftoff of the SpaceX rocket revitalized the hopes of billions suffering through the COVID pandemic. Uh, so I said the liftoff of the SpaceX rocket. Uh, rockets either launch or they lift off. Uh, you can't really lift off in a plane or a car, but lift off is when we talk about a rocket only. And I said it revitalized the hopes of billions suffering through the COVID pandemic. So to revitalize is to kind of bring life back into something to make you feel happier or more energetic. So if you revitalize something, you try to uh, bring back more hope or energy. You can also revitalize parts of the economy. If people are spending money in one area, that will revitalize an economy. Our spirits were lifted to see Elon Musk's rocket blasted into orbit. So our spirits were lifted. So spirits are kind of like our feelings. So if the coronavirus has got you down, your spirits are down. But your spirits can be lifted or raised when you see something inspirational or something that makes you happy. Thanks, guys. And thanks for downloading. You can reach out to me at uh, my email, F-E-U-R-E-Y at gmail.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.